so i've made this really really cheap and good looking tron effect same similar from the tron movie trailer now let me show you how i did it step by step so i'm gonna use this blender kit add-on get the human mesh for our effects link is in the description also if you're wondering what i am pressing you can see a key layout on the corner for what i am pressing so our effects will have three major steps first is the mesh grids second cube insights and last making that zigzag outer lines starting with the first which is the mesh grid let's select our mesh and split the ui here and head to the geo nodes and click on new for this we will scale the faces using the scale elements node but if we scale it works on the whole mesh not on the individual faces if we use a split face just before it then we can see this happening now we don't want them to scale like this we want them to scale from a particular direction for example going from top to the bottom for that we can add an empty to the scene and bring it inside the geo node make sure to set it to relative then we can connect its location to a distance math node with the position node also connected with it and this will give us the distance between the empty and all the faces connecting this with the scale will give us this result now this is the opposite of what we want to use so to use it properly we'll use a color ramp in between and inverse the result second to have the same result as we saw in the final render we will set the color ramp to constant and set it to something like this for the best result i've made these two in between a little bit off white so that you can see they are scaled just a little bit now the question is how do we move it it is really really simple we use a math node just before the color ramp and set it to add and if we change the value it will work like a charm now i want it more detail so i can just go at the start and add a subdivide mesh to get more faces to make it look even more better let's give it a fake depth so i'm gonna use extrude mesh set it to edges and the value will be to 0.001 right now it's extruding all the faces we only want them to extrude the splitted ones we have an option for the selection so we will duplicate the color ramp and connect it why duplicate because we still have a problem here to fix that we will make sure that the white one will be converted to the black one and we are done now let's quickly apply material on it as well we will use join geo node and connect them in like this manner and why are we doing that because you want to apply different material to the extruded edges and different to the faces so use a set material node after both and then select the mesh and head to the material tab so here we will create two new materials one we will name it to black assigning it to the faces in the geo node and make it just a simple black material and for the other one make it a emission material set it to rend orange kind of thing and also set the strength to four after that we will name it edge glow and assigning the same to the extruded edge using the set material now if we switch to the render view we have some problem that is to fix this shit what we simply can do is use a merge by distance node just after the join geo node and we are fixed but in case you have a problem like this what i am facing right now what you have to just do is go to the extrude mesh node and here just add a one value you got it right just a number one value at the end and that will fix it next let's make our emission material look even more better by going to the compositor divide this panel right here and click on the compositor now by default it should not be visible but click on this use node so that we can use these nodes right here and also go here and click on this always in the compositor so that we can see our result in the real time also make sure you are in the render view the node we are going to use is the clear node and just drag it in between and we get this kind of result but i'm gonna use is a simple star and set it to high and we get this kind of result which is really good let's also add some light in our scene now it's time to make changes to our emission material as well but before we head to there we need to store the distance data that we created so we can use it inside the shader editor for that we will use store name attribute just right here and connect our data to it and set a name which will be subscribe so let's head to the shader editor now so i will combine the emission with a principal pstf using a mix shader and set it to black why i am doing this the reason is really simple i want this thing 
to be bright at the very bottom and fade out at the very top so we will use our attribute node setting it to subscribe that we just created so they can access the same data and connect it to the factor now what is just left is just to use a color wrap in between and adjust it to get our result just like this now i think this result is too much uniform so let's add some spice but before that let's group these nodes so that we can control everything just everything with this value node right here so connect it here to use it outside now to add the spices use a math node and set it to divide and connect a noise texture node to it then set the scale to 10 and option to 2d and now it looks really good now we can just duplicate the whole setup and create a layer which will be inside of this one for that first connect it back using the join geo node and also make sure to connect the value that we have created or else you will see no result then to make an inside layer use a set position just after the group input use a normal data and connect it to the offset so that we can offset it on normal but in the inside right now it's going way outside so we can use a scale node in between and set the value minus 0.01 so that it goes inside and it will be very less and we get this the only thing that is left is to offset the value so we will use a math node just after the noise texture and adjust the value until you are satisfied one last major factor is making it look a little bit different in color click on this icon to make a duplicate so for that we will create a new shader which will be a orange color edge glow so i will rename the first one to edge glow red and then and rename it to edge glow orange giving it a orange color of course then applying the same in the geo node in the same order and we have this really amazing result with our depth with this our first step is done now we move towards the second part which is the cube inside so for this use the group input again we can just duplicate it and after this we'll use a mesh to volume so that we can use distribute points on volume after it make sure to change it to grid also i will just share the all the settings that i've used which is the density is 7 voxel will be 100 and the last one will be 0 0.00001 for this node set the value to 0 0.007 and for the spacing we'll use a threshold to 7 by the way to visualize it you can just control shift left click on this and we can see what is actually happening now with this we can replace all with a cube using an instance on point and connect a cube setting all the its value same that we have assigned here for the spacing that is 0.007 to get a perfect result now we don't want all of it so use this selection here and connect our value we created in between use a color ramp to adjust where we want it to appear and where not to appear and also give it a randomness using a multiply after it and connect a noise texture to it and for the setting make sure to uncheck the normalize and set the scale to 100 and we get this now what i want is for the cubes at the very end to be very very small so for that use our value again and connect a column and connect to the scale right here and set color ramp like this so it can make that happen and we are done let's assign it a really nice material using a set material and create a new one for it as well which we will call the small cube because we are gonna create big cubes after this and make sure to assign it here as well before we head to the shader editor let's store the value we created same way as we did before but this time make sure to set it to instancer or else it is not gonna work now in shader use a principle bst i set into black combining them with the mix shader again for the factor this time we are going to use a different node which is ambient occlusion and make sure to use the ao value here then to get a good look Use divide and connect a Warnoy texture set to 40 and type hashtag frame divided by 24. Just before the Warnoy texture, duplicate that attribute and connect this vector to this vector right here. Make sure it is set to instancer and subscribe is there so that the noise moves and it gives a really good result. After that, set the scale 250 to 70, whatever you prefer. Also, to make it look even better, what I'm gonna do is just after the cube, I'll add a sub division subsurface and just increase this edge crease a little bit but what i also want here is that had to have the glow only at the middle part right here for that we use the attribute we stored and connect it with the add node 
After that, we can use a color ramp in between to adjust the result as we like. And we are really done here with this bullshit. Now you can just to duplicate the whole setup again and create a result with a big cube. This is the setting for my result. Here, I have paused it for you, just for you, so that you can subscribe to my channel. Now we are at our last part and I am losing my all energy. Now let's make these wires, zigzag wires. So again, use group input, then connect a edge path to curve. Now we will define it where we want the result to be using a shortest edge path and again connect our value to it so we get something like this. Then we just have to use a color ramp to adjust our result up and down. Down. Once satisfied, we will use a trim curve just after it to refine our result even more like this. Now we just have to use a set curve to mesh node and connect a curve circle to it. But before, make sure to set the resolution to 3 and the radius to 0 0.0001 so that we can get something like this. Also quickly apply a simple emission material to it and name it line glow and set it using a set material of course. I will do two more magic tricks right now to finish it off. First, make it zigzag using a set position just after trim curve and connect a war knight to it. Wow, it's too powerful. So let's use a scale node, just scale node to scale it down to like 0 0.01. That would be good enough. And the last thing is I want it a little outside of our mass. So for that, we can use the same that method that we have used for the grids and all our things. So use a set position node. And here we'll connect the normal with the scale and setting it to 0 0.005 and we are finally done with everything. What is left is just to animate every single thing with this single value. Just how simple is that? Looks good right? So make sure to subscribe to the channel and if you have any doubts do drop them in the comment section below. So I will see you guys in the next one.